that would simulate your IT infrastructure. So we've got our two workstations here. We have a server running server 2008 R2, um, and we've got our router and switch built in here. So the servers, think of it simulating your 10, 20, 100, 200 virtual uh, servers. These workstations would represent your 100, 500,000 endpoints. So just scale down. So as we're doing this demo, just put yourselves in your infrastructure and what that looks like. So with that being said, if I could get somebody from the audience. You don't know what we're going to do, so no one's jumping up. I, I think you won't get hurt, but we've got things uh, taken care of. Uh, we've got a two-prong approach. Um, I, I do need somebody, one person. There you go. Come on up. So what we have here is just a use right over to the keyboard and mouse. Thank you. What's your name, by the way? Kevin. Great name. <laughs> Great name. Where are you from? Grand Rapids. Yeah. And what company? Calvin College. Okay, cool. So uh, you are not Kevin, you are Joe from accounting, and you're that user that all the IT guys in this room, I'm not going to say hate because that's a strong word, but really wish they weren't on staff because you know that they just cause havoc. So what we have here, this is not a smoke and mirrors gang. This is a real live demo. So again, if something goes wrong, this is a real life event. Uh, we've got a map drive here. Um, this, if you can't read it, it says IT partners, important documents. Go ahead and click on the map drive. Hard to see, I'm sorry, the resolution of this projector wasn't great. But we've got a typical map drive, Z drive. Uh, go ahead and open anything up, one or two things. And these are running on relatively slow computers here. Um, just, yeah, go recommended settings and finish. So I mean, this is real data, stuff that you guys would have on your networks. This could represent anything. This could represent your app infrastructure. This could represent your line of business. This could re represent your files. So I mean, just keep this in mind that this is just a, a local network. I'm just showing you that it's, it's data, and you can close out of it. So go ahead and close out of that data, if you would, and go back to the home screen. And you know, your company policy says that you're not supposed to go onto personal email, but go ahead and launch Google Chrome and uh, go to your Gmail if you would. Should I triple click? <laughs> triple, triple click is better. We, we prefer, oh, oh, what did you do? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you just, it looks like you just got hit with WannaCry. Um, okay, go into the uh, our Z drive. That or yeah, that's fine too. And everything's encrypted, so you just encrypted your entire organization. Every map drive you were connected to just got hit. The C levels calling you. You guys are, you guys are in deep trouble. Or whoever just clicked on that. Go ahead and close out of that there. Um, I mean, there's, it looks like we gotta pay the ransom. It looks like our files are gonna delete in six and a half hours. Um, so obviously this, uh, flip over to the server if you could, Christopher. So we're on the server and, and we'll keep you up here for just a minute longer. The local but file that's the local itself. files on the server. Again, no frills. This is not a smoke and mirrors trick. This is a real server 2008 R2 infrastructure here. Um, so obviously that server is out of commission. Uh, Christopher, do you have something for my good friend? Um, yeah, Kevin you're going to need a few things, Joe. You're going to need these safety goggles. Go ahead and put those on. <laughs> you're going to need this vest. Put this on. Very high vis. You are going to probably need this hard hat so as this well. This is the server there I'm unplugging go. right here. And again, keep in mind this represents however many servers you've got in your well, organization. You're going to need a baseball bat. So here you go. Ready? This is the server. We're not going to do that. No, I think we're just handing this to you. Go ahead and put it on the floor. And uh, Joe needs some encouragement. Uh, you know, I've seen the demos done before, and we get these people that are just like this. Oh, I won't hold back. Do it. You ready, Bill? <laughs> Give him a hand. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and you can have a seat. Yeah, we'll take, take this stuff back.
We need to return it on Amazon, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so servers out of commission. Again, no smoke and mirrors here. We'll unplug this workstation too. Or did you already unplug it? Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's out of, out of commission too. So um, Christopher, go ahead and flip to another workstation for me. And let's simulate what this looks like in a real disaster on what you guys would do when you get the call. So start the ping test. We've got nothing to the server. Um, go ahead and launch into our Datto backup appliance, if you would. So Christopher's logging into the appliance. Again, we, this is running off our smallest Datto appliance. This goes all the way up to 120 terabytes, large enterprise. Obviously, for this demo, we just need a small box. But um, go into the Restore tab, and this is all shrunk down because of our projector. Um, let's choose the system we want to restore. And a couple options here before you actually get into that there. Um, we can do a lot of different things. We can virtualize in the cloud, do a local virtualization, file restores. We can upload right into your ESX or Hyper-V host uh, to virtualize. Lots of different ways to get up and running. But go ahead and let's do a local virtualization. Choose our last recovery point on that server. <clears throat> And we are starting, we can start up 100 servers at once. This is just an example of just the one that we're doing. So what he's doing is allocating resources. Um, takes about 30 seconds here to actually uh, start the VM. And go ahead and uh, click into it. So this is booting our server. So in as little time as it takes to boot your servers, that's how fast you're up and running. So bring up our ping test. Oh, uh, and we have to assign the NIC. So what, what's happening here is the server's booted. Um, we still can't see it because now that we're in a virtual environment, we just have to assign the, uh, the network address on the card. And the resolution on this projector did not show up in our demo. So bear with us just a minute. Should be able to zoom. Go up to the... Uh, there we go. So bear with us just a minute here while, while that uh, loads. So what it's doing is it's injecting our drivers to get the keyboard and mouse. It takes about 30, 45 seconds to do. Um, but we can virtualize in a myriad of different options. So we're gonna show you also in just a minute when our data appliance goes out. So typically you'll have an appliance, you'll have your, your clusters, or your hosts, whatever you have. Um, but we had a customer just the other day, um, Sean was working with, and uh, they were down for two weeks. They were banned to get in their IT closet because their battery backup, the UPS, uh, got destroyed. Um, it was on a fire, and the fumes, the fire department uh, quarantined it for two weeks. It was just right here in Grand Rapids. Um, just an APC battery backup that you wouldn't expect that would do that. Um, and what ended up happening, Sean? They were down for 14 months. They weren't a customer of ours yet. We're working on that. Uh, down for 14 months simulating in the cloud because they didn't have a good DR plan. So what Christopher is doing right now is he's getting, uh, getting this NIC assigned with just the same IP address that we had before. How's the uh, pressure as everyone's watching you? Yeah, can't assigned see it, it's just address. muscle memory was set in the NIC right here. <laughs> Christopher is our fat finger typer in the office, so <laughs> when this doesn't work, it's probably because he did a two instead of a one. Yeah, right. You can't see it either. Yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> so just click OK. And uh, go ahead and bring up our ping window. There and we there we are. We're on the network. Users need to do nothing. Nothing at all. You don't need to go to each workstation and connect them. You don't need to do anything. Everything's working. And there's our, our documents on that Z drive opening data just like you would. We're running in a local virtualization. So now let's say, and there's our sample data. So you can see it's live. We haven't even launched Word yet on it. So, <laughs> so uh, our sample data is good. Now let's say we had that battery backup scenario where that battery backup got destroyed. Um, bring up your ping window if you would. Again, no smoke and mirrors. Um, I've got this one labeled as the Datto. I'm turning off the Datto. So the Datto's kept power, which we were running our virtualization on. And uh, that simulates our IT closet, our IT room, whatever the case is. Can you give me that HDMI? We'll go back to this guy. And now we can't even get into our local infrastructure. 
So I'm running this demo over 4G LTE in the middle of the Amway uh, DeVos place, so bear with me on this if it's a little slow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my, uh, let me refresh this window. I'm gonna find my recovery for all my agents that I have. Right here. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna power it on. And with, so if you're running completely in the cloud, whether it's your own private cloud or whether it's Datto's cloud, um, there we are, we're up and running. So um, all you need to do is set up a simple VPN profile on your router and you're running either in Buffdale, Utah or Reading, Pennsylvania. All your users are connected, uh, like nothing ever happened with your entire primary DR site or your primary site down um, and you're in full failover mode through the cloud and everything's back up and running. Again, no smoke and mirrors here. That was a real demo. So thank you, Christopher. Thank Absolutely. you, Kevin, Joe from accounting. We infected our entire setup with ransomware. And uh, I'll open it up to questions at the end.